Welcome to TRS Clips. It's for all you guys whose attention spans are reduced because of short form content. This is the highlights channel. Enjoy the video and make sure you consume a bunch of highlights. Binge watch TRS Clips. Why don't you kind of explain what dark matter is to those of us who forgot? Right. So dark matter is about roughly 23% of the mass energy composition of the entire universe. Hmm. So when we look outside, you go out in the in, in the night, look at the night sky when the lights are not on, you see all kinds of stars. If you take a telescope, you will see galaxies, you will see nebulae, you will see all kinds of astrophysical objects, you will see dust clouds. Hmm. You take all of what is visible, you add it together, you get a certain amount of mass. You can add that up and you can, you can roughly calculate how much mass there is that amounts to less than 5% of the actual mass energy of the universe. How do we know the actual mass energy? Because we know how fast the universe is expanding. We know how fast or how slow galaxies are rotating. So, and, and based on the luminosity of a galaxy and how much mass you can see there, you can actually deduce how fast a galaxy should rotate. And we find that it doesn't match our observational evidence, which indicates there is much more mass in that galaxy, but we are not able to see it. Mm. So that's how we know these things exist. So when we say something has mass, it means it occupies some space. It has weight. Mass is not weight. Mass is energy equivalent. It does occupy space, but sometimes some mass may occupy space, but may not be visible. Certain massive particles can pass right through you, and you will not even feel a thing. Mm. There is something called neutrinos. Mm. So for every second, trillions of solar neutrinos pass through your body and my body. Every second. Mm. Do we feel a thing? We, we feel nothing. They have a tiny minuscule amount of mass. We don't feel it. They interact via the weak interaction, the weak nuclear interaction, and we don't feel that at all. You, they don't pass in a straight line, right? They do. They do pass in a straight line. Yes. Is there enough space in our bodies for it to pass in a straight line? It passes right through everything. It passes right through the atoms in our bodies. It can pass right between the electron and, and the nucleus of an atom. It can, it may even pass through the nucleus itself of an atom. How does it go through the nucleus of an atom? It simply doesn't interact. Okay. See, for instance, if I were to push my finger through my palm, my, my palm will resist this hmm. because this is the Pauli exclusion principle in the electromagnetic interaction at work at the same time. That's why this matter occupies space. When it comes to the weak interaction, it's an extremely weak interaction. It's stronger than gravity, but much weaker than the electromagnetic interaction. Mm -hmm. And that's why when a particle that interacts only weakly through the weak interaction passes through you, it typically simply won't interact with any of the components, constituents inside your mm -hmm. body. And th that's how it typically happens. So if you enjoyed this video, just know that we've got a bunch of curated playlists on this channel just for you. So you don't have to consume every single subject that we cover on TRS, but you do have to consume the playlist that you enjoy the most. That's what I nudge you towards.